Shade isn't just for comfort. It can be the secret weapon to bulk up your fattening cattle. Today, I'm revealing the shade setup that's boosted growth in Hereford bulls like you wouldn't believe. Stay tuned, the right shade might be your game changer this season. Welcome, fellow cattle enthusiasts. We all know that a hot, blazing sun can be tough on our animals. We see them panting, seeking any bit of relief they can find, but have you ever stopped to calculate what that heat is actually costing you? It's not just about comfort. It's about a very real, very measurable impact on your bottom line. When a cow or bull gets too hot, its body goes into survival mode. This is called heat stress. The animal's internal engine starts working overtime just to cool down. Its breathing rate goes up, it starts to drool, and its heart works harder. And what's the first thing to go when an animal is under this kind of stress? Its appetite. Think about it. On a scorching summer day, do you feel like eating a big, heavy meal? Probably not. Your cattle feel the same way. They reduce their feed intake, sometimes dramatically. Less feed means less energy for growth. So that expensive, high-quality ration you're providing is going to waste. The animal is simply not consuming enough of it to pack on the pounds. But it gets worse. Even the food they do eat isn't used as efficiently. A significant portion of that energy is diverted away from muscle and fat production, and instead, it's burned up just trying to stay cool. This is a double whammy for your operation lower feed intake, and poorer feed conversion. The result is slower weight gain, a longer time to reach market weight, and ultimately less profit per head. Have you ever seen this on your farm? A pen of cattle that just seems to stall out during the hottest months? That right there is the cost of heat stress. Now scientists have a way to measure this. It's called the Temperature Humidity Index, or THI. It's a simple concept. It's not just the heat, it's the humidity that matters. High humidity makes it much harder for an animal to cool itself by sweating and panting. When that THI number creeps above 72, your cattle are already starting to feel the effects. By the time it hits 80, they are under significant stress and your growth rates are taking a serious hit so the obvious solution is shade, right? Well, yes, but here's the critical part, the detail that separates average results from truly exceptional ones. And the worst part is that so many producers overlook this. It's not just about having shade, it's about having the right kind of shade. Let me give you a clear example. We observed two groups of fattening Hereford bulls over a 90-day summer period. Both groups have the same genetics, the same high-quality feed, and the same access to fresh, clean water. The only difference was their environment. Group A had access to a few scattered trees. It was shade, technically, but it was inconsistent, and the ground underneath was often muddy and crowded. Group B, however, had a purpose-built shade structure. This wasn't just any old roof. It was specifically designed to maximize cooling and comfort. The results after 90 days were stunning. The bulls in Group B with the optimized shade showed an average daily gain that was over one half pound higher than the bulls in Group A. Let me repeat that, over half a pound every single day. Over the course of the 90 days, that's an extra 45 pounds per animal. Now multiply that by the number of head in your herd and the current market price. The numbers become very, very significant. Their feed conversion was also nearly 15% better. They were eating less to gain more. So what was the secret to this trick setup? It comes down to a few key principles that anyone can apply, whether you have 10 head or 10 hundred. First, let's talk about common mistakes. The biggest mistake is thinking any old roof will do. A low, solid tin roof painted a dark color can actually make the problem worse. It absorbs the sun's heat and radiates it straight down onto your cattle, creating an oven-like effect. 
there's no airflow. It's like standing under a hot lid. Another common mistake is not providing enough space. Cattle need room to spread out. If they are all bunched together under a small patch of shade, you lose the benefit of air circulation. This also leads to a buildup of mud and manure, which is a breeding ground for bacteria and flies. A good rule of thumb is to provide at least 20 to 40 square feet of shade per animal. More is always better. And in a moment, I'll explain the ideal material to use for the roof itself. But first, let's talk about one of the most overlooked factors, orientation. This is a pro-level tip that costs nothing to implement. Whenever possible, you should orient your shade structure with its longest side running north to south. Why? Think about how the sun moves across the sky. With a north-south orientation, the patch of shade cast by the roof will move across the ground from west to east throughout the day. This is incredibly important. It means the entire ground area underneath the structure gets exposed to direct sunlight for part of the day, which helps to dry it out, kill bacteria, and reduce mud. An east-west orientation, on the other hand, keeps one strip of ground in the shade all day long, creating a permanent, muddy, unhealthy mess. It's a simple change that makes a huge difference. Now for the structure itself. Height is key. You want the roof to be at least 10 to 14 feet high. This allows hot air, which naturally rises from the animals in the ground, to escape easily. A low roof traps that hot, humid air right where your cattle are starting. And finally, the material. This is the core of the shade trick. Instead of a solid, heat-absorbing roof, the most effective solution is a high-quality shade cloth, specifically an 80% shade cloth. This material is a game-changer. It blocks 80% of the sun's direct radiation, providing cool, effective shade. But, and this is crucial, it's permeable, it breathes. It allows that trapped hot air to rise right through the fabric and escape. It prevents the oven effect that solid roofs create. It's the perfect balance of blocking sunlight while allowing for maximum ventilation. For small producers, this can be as simple as building a portable frame out of wood or metal pipe and stretching the shade cloth over it. You can move it around your pastures as needed, preventing any one area from becoming overused. For larger operations, a permanent pole barn style structure with a shade cloth roof is an incredible investment. It's often cheaper and far more effective for cooling than a traditional metal roofed barn. So let's put it all together. The ideal shade setup is a structure that is tall, at least 10 to 14 feet. It's oriented north to south. It provides plenty of space, 20 to 40 square feet per head, and it uses an 80% shade cloth for a roof to block the sun while letting hot air escape. And of course, it's placed conveniently near your water and feed sources so your cattle don't have to trek across a hot field to get relief. By moving from passive, accidental shade to an active, intentional shade strategy, you are not just making your cattle more comfortable, you are directly improving their health, their growth rate, and the overall profitability of your operation. You are turning a major environmental stressor into a competitive advantage. This isn't just about numbers on a scale. It's about raising healthier, more productive animals and being a smarter, more efficient producer. It's about taking proven science and applying it in a practical way on our own land. If you found this information valuable and you want to be part of a community dedicated to smarter, more responsible ranching, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button for Biggest Bulls and Cow. We are here to grow together as cattlemen and women. And drop a comment below. Have you tried using shade structures? What were your results? Or maybe you have a question about setting one up. Let's share our knowledge in the comments. That's how we all get better. And finally, if you know another rancher, farmer, or student who could benefit from this, please share this video. We all grow when we help each other succeed. Because here, we are all learning and improving together. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.